Hello everyone. I am finally doing my planner lineup of 2024. So we are going to start with our ancillary planners for next year. So right now, and I've already started in a few of these and we'll get to that. Um, so right now, this is our homeschool planner and, oh, sorry, our homeschool planner and my wellness planner for this year. And I can show you guys um, what it looks like. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how that is going. And we will, I have another fitness planner for next year. This is the third year that I've used to hope in each week's as my fitness planner. And then in the back, I just like do some tracking and um, journaling. And this is our homeschool planner, and this is just a regular Hobonichi Weeks. Um, let me get my notes out. Because, like any good planner girl, <laughs> I have all of my <laughs> planner notes here. Anyhow, this is our homeschool planner, and this was uh, this week, and then December. Of course, we have Christmas break, so we've already begun this. And then um, I did want to add that I will start adding like fun days. So our appointments, the saints, um, feast days, stuff like that. And so, yeah, and I like to decorate the, this one, it's fun. I actually have the Sweet Kauai um, Hobonichi Weeks subscription started for next year. So pretty excited about that. Okay, and then these two, this is going to be next year's 2024's fitness planner. Um, this is a Sterling Inc common planner this is the n2v full year so we've already started a little bit um this is a 75 hard tracker i probably won't do that in january um my first 12 week year is january 1st through i think march 24th um but uh, these are all things that i want to do that i do anyway um except the only thing i don't want to do <laughs> is the outdoor workout because we are in colorado and it is very cold here so i um but and take the progress picture. I don't feel the need to do that every day. Um, I was doing like a fun thing a day, um, which I'll probably continue. So that's how the monthly there will be. And then I have my weekly, and I just made sticky notes for tracking like my um, skincare um, like devices. And that's how that's going to look. I just did it in pencil for right now, um, kind of mapping things out to see where I wanted everything to go. And so yeah, that's this will probably be stats. I could do my like stats in the monthly too. So I have blood pressure, my ketone measurement, my glucose measurement, my temp, um, all that jazz. I could put that there. I'm not sure yet, but this is one of those things that definitely evolves as you go. And then in the back, I'm going to, this is my morning journal, and or morning pages, if you've read The Artist's Way, and I just plan to do a page a day for that. So that is my health and wellness journal for next year. This is a paper test designs journal, and this will be my social media book. So I'm excited to do a lot more with YouTube, and um, I have three YouTube channels. I have Miranda Plans, The Daily Homemaker, and um, Fit With Four. So Excited to do that. This is going to be, and a lot of this is in pencil. Again, me just kind of getting my bearings with everything. Um, so yeah, there's the monthly. And then you all know what the weekly looks like. This was kind of a mock-up uh, for how I wanted to possibly set it up. We'll see edit days, upload days, and what I plan to do for those. So um, I, I plan to use this as a tracker, but, oh, I said this is social media. This is also, I'm using it for goals and everything too. Okay, so what I um, thought I would, thought it could be fun is um, not only social media, which is a huge goal for next year, but this will be kind of all of my goals. So I have it tracking right there, but I was also thinking I could possibly um, log time spent doing activities. So I have this app called Boosted, and I have all the projects, you know, so, so, social media, or not social media, so for me to work, yeah. Studying, um, doing my devotional, working out, errands, all of this stuff. Housework, homeschool. And what I was thinking is that I could put our, like just one through whatever, right here. And then I can log how much time I spend doing each activity. So on Friday, 
Um, I did housework for 33 minutes on this. I did more than that, but you get the point. So and then I would just do like half hour increments or hour increments, I'm not sure yet, and log how much time I spent doing each thing using a color coding system. So I just have to remember to use this. <laughs> That's my biggest problem is that I forget that I have that. And so yeah, anyhow, in the back, I wanted to, <laughs> I was just playing around and thought I could use this as a daily, but um, I plan to do track our thousand hours outside goal for this year. Um, track and plan and log all of my crafts, like embroidery, sewing projects, stuff like that. Um, I plan to use my weekly to track my language learning for next year. Uh, book tracker, of course, um, movies, you know, all that jazz. Uh, use this as like a reading log, like put the book and then write a little blip about the book. So anyhow, that's kind of how this planner will be utilized. All right, next up on the ancillary planners, this is going to be for goals. Oops. So, um, this is an A5 TN from Start Bay Notebooks. And what we have in here is my Moxie Life like goal setting system. This is like the yearly book. I had I got this like two years ago, three years ago. I never set this up. And I use only one of these books. So we're just using what we have. Um, yeah, it looks like this. You guys have seen it. So this is all of my goal setting stuff. Um, I love these little booklets from In the Leafy Treetops. So I have my holiday planner in here. And this is all of the holidays too. Like Easter. Um, hang on just a second. Yeah, we have Easter, we have a summer plan, back to school schedule, back to school shopping list. This is just awesome. Thanksgiving, Christmas, of course. And then I have one of their project planners, and that's what that looks like. And then we have a little self-care book, self-reflection. I won't do this every day, just kind of on an as-needed basis. And then we have our home and family book, also from In the Leafy Treetops. And... Um, this is just where you can plan birthday stuff, you can put their shoe size, pant size, shirt size, all of that jazz, your um, oh, financial management, a vacation planner situation, what's in the back here, oh thank you cards and gifts, this is just really nice to have, and then, and these are Foxy Fix dashboards from whew, ages ago, and then this is my Old Testament journal, this is from Passionate Penny Pincher, yeah, Passionate Penny Pincher, and there's three, I got three of these, so we have all of the um, Bible books and that's just what it looks like inside and that is everything that's in there so this is my goal book all right up next is the Hobonichi Han so this is what I'm going to be using for work um, I am working towards becoming a personal trainer and a certified health co uh, certified nutrition coach <laughs> among other things. Um, so this is what I'll be using for planning all of that stuff. These are some stickers from Mandy Lynn Plans and we have our monthly and these are just study things. I plan to put appointments, my income, um, fit with four social media content and continuing education. And then in the weekly I will just do my content planning for fit with four at the top and you can see time block my work and clients. And then in the daily we will do uh, client notes, work tasks, study notes, all of that jazz will be in the daily. So this will probably be the last time you see this because I'll have names and clients and stuff in this. So of course I won't be able to show that. Um, and then on each month I will put my work related goals and any continuing education plans I have. So this is pretty quick and easy. There's that one. All right, so I have my scripture uh, writing in my goal book, but then I also have this. I got it super cheap from um, Where did I get this Hobby Lobby? I think well, possibly Michaels So that's what this this is just a happy planner um, scripture Prayer reading plan situation. So yeah use this next year for I don't know <laughs> reading the Bible of course and I'm following a uh, Bible reading plan it's in the, I have the adventure, the Great Adventure Catholic Bible, and so that is the reading plan that I'm following is in the front of that. Okay, so, next category are, or is my on-the-go planners. So, in these, you guys have seen my Malden, my little mini Malden, if you follow me on Instagram. 
Um, this is just super simple. I have my mommy cards, my business cards in there, and my, um, like, keep this card in just in case with medications on it and all that jazz. Um, and I just have my weekly in here. I have my little yearly, that was my word of the year this year, 2022, or 2023. So, that's why I keep that tabbed. I did have some trackers in here, but honestly, I never used them, so I'm probably not going to refill that. Um, so, weekly, we have our daily. We have a call log and a dog here, apparently. <laughs> right there, and then I'm not going to flip to this tab, but in the back here, I just have addresses of my family, um, phone numbers, stuff like that, that I might need when I'm out. And... Then I have my kids um, military ID in the back and this little phone, like it's like a stand so you can set your phone up. So there's that and next year I'm going to do the exact same thing. A page on one day, a week on two pages diary and then I have these little yearly planners that I just mark um, when we do school and when I work out. So there's that. So this is the next one, and I bought this, um, I pre-ordered this one. This is another Sterling Ink Planner. I only got the two. So this just has some more of those little mommy cards. This is my mom and my grandma, and this is just a book. I really, I don't know where I got this from. I have no idea. It was in my stash, so we stuck it in there. Um, so yeah, this will just be my out and about, just have appointments and things like that in there. Um, pretty much how I'm using my Filofax now. Um, will be just like this and she even has a dot there so I'll put a line and it's like health and fitness stuff and then to do's for the day and that's it that one is short and sweet all right next up on the on the go portion this is a purse like a planner purse from Wonderland 2222 oops all right, so in this I have, I usually stick my wallet in here and I just have a card and some like little makeup. Like if I'm out and I have zero makeup on but I have to go do something, I just have a few things in there. I have my little uh, mas mascara, some brow product, a brow pencil. These are like the bare minimum things and some SPF, which it would be weird if I left without SPF. Usually I have like a lip gloss in there, but I moved that to my bigger purse. So. There's that. And my phone can fit in here. And I have, this is my phone. It's pretty big. But it can fit. It's tight, but it can fit and close. All right. So in this, I have my Hobonichi Weeks Mega. And this is our meal planner. Look at that tin. Isn't that the coolest thing? I don't want to spend it. That's why it's in the front. I just liked it because it was old. <laughs> but anyhow. Um, so we just have bills, appointments, anything that would cost something. Like when we went to the orthodontist, it was $130, things like that. And then we have our meal plan. So that's what that is. It's just a meal plan and grocery list. This is the first week I did it. This was the second one I wrote appointments here. Because when I'm meal planning, if we are going to be gone all day, it's nice to know that. Or if we have a big appointment or something, um, it's good to know so that I can plan accordingly. And then I put my cleaning stuff here. Eh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I did that again this week. Um, boy, we had the flu this week, so not a lot got done. I definitely like having our appointments right here, though. So I'm not sure in, in the future if this will be the exact way that I set it up. Um, but anyhow, we'll see. So I'm going to plan next week. And then the back is... Well, right now, it's all my Christmas planning <laughs> and grocery list and meals and such. Um, our Christmas menu. And then I planned, I put this in my 2023 budget book, but the plan is to do our bills and then a list of the transactions for each month back here. And then have all of this highlighted. Of course, I color code everything. So there's that. And then we have the December transaction log. And then in the very back is recipes. And then I will put... Um, the our debt back here and I have a little um, little one of those Midori clips tracking it so yep 2024 goals to get out of debt so that is the plan and then just receipts in the back so there's that and it just lives right in here right on top and then I have my hourly planner so this year I actually have two hourly planners it is redundant I just like them both and so we're gonna use them both so I, I use the uh, Midori clips in this too, and if you guys have seen the Wonderland 222, our weekly things we need to do and the weather, 
and then this is last week. And I, I like to obviously color code and plan things out a little better, but I've just been busy and had the flu, so <laughs> not a lot. It was just writing the things down in the time slot we were gonna do them, but I, I need an hourly because I have a lot in my day and I have to be strategic about stuff. So, yep, there's that. And the bag is just gonna be used for notes or just anything that, you know, needs to get done. This got scooted to this day because I had to babysit that day. So, there's that. And this thing is so handy, like it is just awesome. And it was not that expensive. I can't remember, not, not as expensive as, as I thought it would be. So there is that on the go planner. All right, so the moment everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> just kidding. We have the everything. <laughs> this is, I've had a, I've been using personal for a few years now and it is just kind of my ride or die. I stay in it. Um, Constantly, I always go back to it every time I leave it. So, all everything else was an ancillary planner, and this is the main planner. So, I'm gonna do just a quick flip of this, and I made I just made um, my little like dashboardy things in Canva and printed those out. So the first category we have is our yearly, and I'm going to print the Peanuts Planner Co. yearly bundle and put that right here. Next is notes, and this um, I made these little post-it notes in Canva too. I thought they were cute. They match my theme. Um, this is Toy River paper, like note paper from Paper Penguin Co. or Penguin Paper Co. I'll have everything linked in the description. Um, so that's just all of a bunch of note paper. Then we have our weekly and my top tab takes me to the week and of course sticky notes because I'm, I don't know. I use sticky notes for everything and of course obviously color coded. I color code at all. Okay. This is our family dinner, our family meal plan, which I have my meal planning planner, of course, but in, in that one, I'm gonna plan weeks in advance um, or like for the whole month or whatever. And this is just the current, what we're eating this week. Um, for family, my husband, and for me, because we, we all, sometimes we um, do like diet cycling and we will go low carb or what have you. My husband needs more protein, so it's just a whole thing. But anyhow, so weekly, same as it's been for the last few years. This is for YouTube, my uh, YouTube videos that I want to film, and this will be like for the month. But we have Miranda Plans. Uh, I have a key. Yeah, blue is fit with, yeah, fit with four, and the Daily Homemaker. So anyway, weekly, if you look at Instagram, this is like, you always see it. This is what I use for everything. Next is our daily section. I only keep a couple months in this at a time and takes you to daily pages. This is just my, another sticky note, of course, for my scripture reading and my devotional. I just write the pages and whatever um, Bible for some reading that day. I like having that planned out. Okay, daily. Next are goals. So my little dashboard. And this is my, these are my fitness health, uh, fitness and health sticky notes. So these are just macros. What I plan to do for strength, stretch, and cardio th for the week. A run log and a weightlifting log. And there's like five here, enough for um, a week. Oh, and then this is my sticky note for what you saw in my health and fitness book. My uh, glucose, ketones, blood pressure, and temperature that day. I use temperature for tracking my cycle. And then it's just, this year I'm going a lot simpler. Um, next year, I keep saying this year, 2024. I'm doing a much simpler situation. Um, in 2023, I use Peanuts Planner Co. inserts and someone else who I love. All right, so this is this year's, which if you all know, like my planners are still lived in. But, so you guys have seen this planner. Um, this year I used Peanuts Planner Co. This week I was too sick. I just didn't, I did not track anything. And then these, and I, I'm gonna link her. Um, man, she was awesome. She must, I even had to message her. So I couldn't find the personal size on in her Etsy store, but oh man, I love these. I like to plan out my, my meals here, obviously. These are great. But next year, 2024, we're going just simple. We're just gonna have tracker, um, some goals at the top. Uh, I have my sticky notes that I'll, will end up getting stuck here at the end of the week, whatever I used and that's that's it. I have like a few months in here. These are all from Pilot Facts too, by the way. 
and then I wouldn't even show that my workouts are on the back so I can plan them out and all of that jazz anyhow uh, this is from Cat's Press Co. this little pocket and this card is from cloth and paper yeah cloth and paper so I'm in order all right next section we have projects so this is just home improvement and repairs we live on post so obviously we don't personally do a lot of home improvements and repairs because we don't own this home but when we do need to call maintenance and stuff this is where this is going to go and we're also like when we're doing um, like decorating and things like that that's where I'll put that the next section is a maintenance log again this is kind of my I think I'm going to label this control journal because the next set of dividers are all control journal-esque um this is the home management bundle from Filofax, I think, is part of it. Okay, so you just have your home info, maintenance log, waste and recycling schedule. I just put one of these in here because I don't need to do that every week. It doesn't change. So, but there, that, come, that came with like, I don't even know how many, a few. Our laundry schedule, uh, each of our kids has a different day to do their laundry. So Matthew's Monday, Madeline Tuesday, uh, Max is Wednesday, Mackenzie is Thursday. My husband and myself are on Friday, and then I do not do laundry on the weekends. Realistically, I really only do laundry on Friday. Is when I wash all of, all of my, my husband and my sheets and bedding and clothes and everything to get ready for the following week. And when our kids have their day, they wash their own bedding and their towel and all of that jazz. So, laundry schedule. The next category are weekly chores. So we have a few months of those. Too easy. The next category is cleaning. Yay. <laughs> and again, I just went really simple. Like last year, or this year, I'm sorry, 2023, I had my, um, I'll show you. I had all these in here. Um, I just, I didn't use them, obviously. Like I never used them. So I'm not doing that again. Because I had, I've had those in there for years, and I really don't keep track of things like that. I use my black box for most of the stuff. So these are things like sweeping every day, you know, vacuuming. We have a bear of a dog, so we do a lot of sweeping and vacuuming and, and such. And then after this, we have our bill section, and I only have three months in there. I'm not going to show that, but, you know, finance situation. Um, I have my little insert that I made for paying uh, all the credit cards and making sure those keep a zero balance and then this piece of paper is for anything. Um, it could be for other bills, it could be for transactions that I need to log, so all of that. And then I have contacts. And then, tucked in the back here, is my G-Boom Techo, which I have not used in years. And what made this happen was one day I was scrolling back through my Instagram and saw that I had put this in the back of my Malden and I was like, oh man, that was perfect. So this is my monthly, my um, time blocking, my bill finances. So like AT&T, Comcast, such like that, that's where this will go so I can see like a trend, car insurance, all of that fun stuff. My tracker, which right now it just has my planners that I use on a daily basis, but I made a sticky note for that. So I'm not sure what I'll, what I'll be tracking. And then, of course, your monthly. I just love this so much. There is just so much information you can put on these pages. It, I love it. I love it so much. And then your time blocking, of course, which I kind of started doing this. Uh, I don't need to, though. I really am not going to be in this until January 1st. So, yeah. I might back plan, but eh, we'll see. And that's it. That is my everything do-it-all planner. So... There's that. All right, so now we have the next category, and that category is wild cards. Did I need these? No. Did I have this stuff sitting around, and did I have fun like setting other things up? Yes, I did. So that's these two. So I set up my little traveler's notebook because I just love this so much, <laughs> and I really want to use the cover, but like I wasn't gonna buy. Traveler's Notebook planner inserts because I just do not need another, plan another planner, obviously, and I won't keep up with it, and it'll be a waste, and then I'll be all sad <laughs> that I didn't use it. So, I just had, went to Staples and had them cut down a Stalogy that I already had, and yeah, we have our month, 
And you can see where, like, this is hit or miss. I, I was having fun setting it up. I was having fun vlogging things. And, yeah. And then we have our, this week, this was, let's go back to last week. So we had our homeschool page. And then we had a week at a glance. And, like, I was having fun with stamps and all of this jazz. Our words of the day for homeschool. My health vlog. And then just, like, journaling. So it's like a page on two days. I have journaling on the right. Oh, and then I got these. And that was pretty fun. Saturday and Sunday. Um, I just do the same page there. Yeah, week on one page again. Again, having fun with stamps. Because I don't like doing this stuff in my other planner, so this was just kind of, I never did do fill out homeschool for that. Because I just didn't need to. You know, and journaling would be on this page, but you can see I stuck in. Um, these are from Passionate Penny Pincher. I love her, um, like, tracker. Those in her planner. I didn't get that planner again this year because I just, again, do not need another planner. So, yeah. That's what this is. This is just for funsies. Um, but like in the back, I just did collections, field trips, kid dates, crafts I want to do, sewing projects I want to do, um, some like convenience meals that when we're sick or tired, we can put that in there. Emergency prep. Um, yeah, our no spin rules. Date ideas for me and my husband. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. It's just fun. Is it necessary? No. <laughs> not at all. Will I keep up with it? I don't know. There's no pressure. It's just fun. I just love this cover and yeah, that's that's that. And then this. This is an undated Clever Fox. I'm pretty sure it's Clever Fox. I'm, I'm assuming they wrote it in here somewhere. Yeah, Clever Fox Teacher Planner uh, that I've had for years again. So obviously more sticky notes. This year our kids are doing um, classes online, so I just have to check the box. Those four. Then we do our we do group subjects together. So yep, that's this. I was gonna. I was like, I could use this as a weight log. Like there's so many the op the uh, op options are endless. Use this as a tracker possibly, and then we have our monthly. Um, yeah, just super duper fun. And again, this is undated. So I did already, oh, and you have a page in between. I did already do January, uh, but an empty page looks like this. So just fun, I don't know. This was this week and I did already plan next week with the sticky notes. And I did show all this on my Instagram. I think it was on stories though. Um, so I might need to make that like a highlight, but I use my color coding that I've been using for years and years and years. Oh my gosh, it's been, it's the same same uh, color coding. You can see that that's what, I've been using it for ages and ages. So I don't even really use the key anymore, but it correlates with that color coding that's in my personal planner. So yeah, just for funsies, I don't know. I thought it was fun and it's, you know, undated. So I can come and go with this thing. It is kind of nice though, I'm not gonna lie, to be able to see like this is Monday and then I take my Stay on one page in this and write like I can just look in Monday and write everything to do that day and like we'll get appointments write my appointments in write my to-do list yada yada it's kind of nice I like it I like having I like being able to plan the whole week out and then just do one like just go down the the line of things so if I do continue this though I don't think I will keep in the logging aspect of like my steps my um my sleep and all that jazz because I have my fitness planner. I don't need to really keep that in here. What I will probably do though is um, check off. It's like things I need to do. So like I planned my workouts next week and my I have AM and PM here for my routines. My AM routine, my PM routine. <clears throat> so I think that's probably all I'll do. I doubt, I doubt that I will do any more logging like this. I was just, I don't know, playing around. So that is it for the wild card wild cards now the next category sort of is journaling so you saw my morning pages are going to be in the sterling ink common planner week size so this is a hobonichi cousin of ek um yeah i love i just love this so much i decorated this when i was really sick <laughs> And when I first got this planner, which was like back in, I don't even know, a long time ago. and Oh, in, in September. Because right, my that was when I had the concussion and I was in bed. Which you're not supposed to be thinking. And I was like, oh, this is easy. <laughs> and my daughter made, my little, made me a little note. So, 
I probably won't use this very much, but the reason it's so full is because I already have all of my weeks planned. So, super fun. I'm gonna add this in here soon. Um, yeah, I just, I have a bunch of like that. I had so many stickers in my stash that I wanted to use and I do love planning with stickers. So we just have all of this that I never used last year. I don't know why. I was, I had the Hobonichi Cousin um, Sweet Kawaii subscription for like six months last year and didn't use many of them at all. So we're gonna use those next year. And I think I'll probably write like a memory or um, just something fun each day. I don't think I'll use this for gratitude. I don't think so. Let me look and see what, okay. Oh, that's right. I have to write down everything because I get these great ideas and then, yeah, <laughs> I have to write them down or log it somehow because I will 100% forget and I already did. I'm going to do a picture a day in the monthly section. So I have a little um, Canon Ivy that I can use or my uh, selfie Canon. I think that's Canon too, uh, to put pictures in. So yeah, that and then I, it's just weekly. So I'm just going to pre-plan fun I like I said I already have everything like squared like ready to go everything's planned out and then in the daily pages will be my night journaling so I have my morning pages and this will be just me decorating putting pictures in of the day um, if it was something we did that day or just journaling just having fun journaling about my day in the back so yeah this is my journal my night journal Morning pages and night journal. And it's just in a Hobonichi Cousin, um, Hobonichi cover with a clear cover on cover. And I think I've had this, uh oh, I think I've had this for a few years. I don't, when I bought it, maybe last year. Anyhow, that is journaling. And that's it. Those are all of my planners, my planner lineup for 2024. It's a lot. I love to compartmentalize my life, obviously. And I love to plan, and I don't spend money on really much else. <laughs> this is definitely my like hobby. I don't get my hair done. Um, I don't get my nails done. So, yep. That's everything. I hope you all have a great day. And, yeah, I'm excited to post a lot more videos next year. There's a lot of plan on me. I have plenty of planners to make content with. So, I hope you all have a great day, and let me know what you're using for 2024. Or if you think I'm nuts, and this is just far too many planners. Because, maybe I am, but I'm having a blast. So, <laughs> see you guys later.